Rated T for Teen. Who is the front runner? The candidate with the most clams, that's who. The first candidate to rack up two minutes of time as the front runner wins. Crackers takes the lead. McQuay! <laughs> My clams! And another! You can't really engage people about their political views in the context of a party game without running the risk that someone's going to get upset and throw a controller at someone else's head. And we didn't want that to happen. We actually wanted people to have a good time. I guess our, our larger point is that it's at least as valid as anything else that you've seen called an election. I got to thinking, you know, maybe we should um, elect our president the same way we, we do American Idol. Because that's really thorough and there's a lot of scrutiny that goes on there. And then, I, and then I thought, you know what, like just watching the circus that goes on right now, it, it kind of is like American Idol. As your leader, I promise not to sleep ever! The worst part was we actually had to seek out and watch a bunch of attack ads in order to get the tone right. And that makes you want to take a shower for like five years. It's 3 a.m. and your children are safe and asleep, but a phone is ringing. Something's happening somewhere in the world. Your vote will decide who answers that call. Will it be someone you know and trust? Someone who can stand firm in these turbulent times and make the world a better place? Apparently not. We apologize for cutting in, but things are getting started. It wouldn't be an election without mudslingers. Throw clams at your opponent's standees to splatter them with mud. 75 clams will smear an opponent permanently, and the last clean candidate wins. Woo! Hi, hi. Oh. Mossy slung some filth. 